sparklers. So you know how to make a classic quiz. And if you don't, go watch our last video. And now you want to try your hand at putting together a clickable one. These are quizzes where instead of typing in the answers, you click them, like clicking the capital of each South American country. In fact, sporklers have found many different creative ways to use the clickable format, but in this video, we're just going to introduce you to the basics. As with any other quiz type, you'll need to make sure you're logged in first. Once that's done, go to your quiz management dashboard again and select create a sporkle quiz. We're making a clickable quiz, so we thought it would be appropriate to make a quiz about mouse facts. Computer mouse facts, that is. So we'll set the quiz title accordingly, select the category as science, because computers are science, and of course, the quiz type is clickable. Then click create quiz. The first thing you'll likely notice is that the basic info tab looks very similar to the one for the classic type, except there's no place to enter the answer label. That exists solely for the text box, and we won't be needing that for this quiz. On this page, pick the length of your timer. Typically, it takes less time for players to click answers than to type them, so we'll select a shorter timer of one minute. Now, as in classic quizzes, you'll want to check the quiz description, URL, subcategories and tags, and source URL. Make sure the description makes sense. It's the first thing most players will see when they click on your quiz. So let's make sure that that is English. Computer, mouse, facts. The URL can be anything you want. We're going to leave ours as is since we're in the mood for simplicity today. For our source, we mostly used this Britannica page on mouse. So we'll just copy and paste that in. There we go. Because it's cool to cite your sources. As with all Sporkle quizzes, you can edit the title and image for your quiz on any page in the quiz tools, but we'll do that later. For now, click Save Changes and move on to the Data and Style tab. First, you have a choice as to how to input your data. You'll see that this table setting is on by default. If you turn it off, then your data will be more isolated by question. This doesn't affect the appearance of your actual quiz, it simply gives you another option in the creation phase. The answer text size setting dictates the size of the buttons on your quiz. Typically, the fewer answers you have, the bigger you can go here. And while computer mice may be small, just like their namesakes, they have big personalities, so we'll pick large. To actually go about entering your data, you can type everything out, or you can use the import data function. This time, we already have everything we need in this spreadsheet I made, so we'll just go ahead and import that file now. And we'll put some like elevator music. You'll see that when you import data, that info will be inserted after any questions you already have. So we'll go ahead and delete that extra blank row. You may remember in our classic quiz, we created a bunch of alternate answers so people had more options with what they can type. However, we don't need to do that for this clickable quiz because only one answer is displayed for clicking. If you want to add any decoy answers to throw players off, you can also do that here. We'll add a few more questions or rows in the table view and type in our fake answers. Let's go with Danger Mouse, Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the World Wide Web, of course, and downloading. In order to signify these as incorrect answers, put EE or a double E in the extra section. Any other text you add in this extra section that isn't EE will appear in a line below your main hint. In this way, the extra column can not only be used to mark decoy answers, but can also help format your hints. Once things look good here, head over to the advanced tab, oh, but not before clicking save changes. If it's not grayed out, click it. You see, forced order is on automatically, which we need because we're using hints. If you uncheck this setting, then your hints won't show up at the top of the quiz. For this quiz, we'll select randomize hints so that the order of the hints is different every time. And while we're here, let's make sure our answers are displayed in alphabetical order. To do this, uncheck randomize answers and instead check off alphabetize answers. 
This setting is especially helpful for players when they want to locate particular answers among the sea of other clickable buttons. As in classic quizzes, there's a bunch of extra settings here you can use to customize your quiz as you see fit. You can have answers in multiple columns, you can enable the use of images, and you can even hide text on the quiz page. Play around with these to see what you like and what best fits your quiz. If you've made any changes on this page, make sure to click Save Changes. If everything seems good, click Test Quiz to make sure it's all playing as expected. This will open a new tab and show you how your quiz will look to players. For our example, you'll see the three fake answers that we added are here, but there is a maximum of five points because only five are correct. If there's anything you want to change, you can close the new tab or click on the edit quiz icon in the upper left to take you back to the quiz tools. Now seems like a good time to add an image for our quiz, so we'll upload a picture of the quintessential mouse that we found earlier. Make sure the elements of a mouse are perfectly centered and click done. Finally, click on the contribute tab. Oh, and this page tells us that we forgot to put in our tags and some category. So before anything, we have to go back to the basic info tab and do that. We'll pick the computer subcategory and add tags for mouse and mice to reach players who like both singular and plural words in their quizzes. Now, when we save changes and go back to contribute, we don't have those pesky quiz alerts, so our quiz is ready to go and we're all set to contribute our first clickable quiz. If you wanna play our mouse quiz, it's in the description below. And if this video helped you create your own quiz, link it in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next how-to video. Thanks for watching.